New tonight statewide, thousands of people juggle their jobs, families, and personal time and also have a conviction to protect their community. Many of these brave men and women even do it for free. We are talking about volunteer firefighters. News 8's Jocelyn Howard visited the Hempfield Fire Department in Lancaster County. Bravery, dedication, and service. Firefighters put their lives on the line to save hours, but some take it a step even further. It is a dedication, it's a commitment. They put themselves in danger for nothing in return. We have to be on at all times. This is the life of a volunteer firefighter. IT worker by day. Typically what I'm doing here is uh, project management, uh, helping out with trouble tickets. Firefighter by night. What a cool way to give back, right? Sergeant Alex Borton has given eight years of his life to the Hempfield Fire Department and feels compelled to give so much more. The community is counting on people such as myself to, to respond when the call comes out. When duty calls, volunteers with the department are alerted through an app. When you say you're coming, you, you roster in. The notification gives the time, place, and type of emergency. In that first 20, 30 seconds, you can see who's coming. And within minutes, those volunteers get geared up on a truck and on scene. We have 40 or some rostered members. And I would say at least half are credible, frequent responders. Other departments in the area assist as needed, but Sergeant Borton says the volunteer department typically gets the job done on their own. <laughs> and it takes a team. It's going to load nice. When they're not responding to emergencies, these men and women are training to sharpen there their go. skills. Start walking. And teach newbies like myself. <laughs> it takes athleticism and grit. Hey to constantly lug this hose. It's just so much weight. Pair that with the gear, an oxygen tank, and a heavy helmet. I'm your backup. Okay. You're my nozzle woman. Okay. It's hard to balance and move. Remember, firefighting's on your knees and crawling. Let alone fight the fire. Think we see the fire here? OK, go ahead and attack. Every week, volunteers spend hours practicing for all emergencies. They're going to kind of alternate between the advance up the stairs. But Sergeant Borton says it's just as important to practice compassion. You have to be the firefighter little kids think you are. A lesson he learned on a call when a little girl thanked him with a sticker. It's the little stuff that gives you the most empowerment. And that's something money can't buy. You can't replicate that. That's just... That's it right there. That's it. That's what it is. <laughs> Jocelyn Howard, WGAL News 8.